All right, guys. So, um, <coughs> as you know, I'm not feeling very well today. I think I might have Corona again, you know. Uh, I've had it once before. I'm vaxxed up, like, but I know you can still get it. <coughs> I just don't feel very good at all. But it's nothing that a bottle of vodka will put right tonight on the stream. Andreas called me. We were talking about him in the, the previous uh, video I uploaded today. Um, I thought a little bit more, let me just move that a little bit, I thought a little bit more, um, I nearly said something dog, I don't even swear with, I thought a little bit more about him actually, um, after I'd published that video, um, oh, right, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. After they published the last video, you know, about someone sticking the knife in to that particular coach at Liverpool Football Club, uh, I thought about that video and I had a little mooch around uh, on the interwebs and I saw that there was a lot of reports um, in the mainstream media about that, about those allegations that he's hard to work with. Um, so on and so forth. I wasn't aware of that at the time of recording the video. I was aware of the, you know, something on the Sky Sports uh, website last night, and they're obviously uh, all these other articles are on the uh, on the back of that. Um, <clears throat> it just makes me angry, to be honest with you, because it's like it has obviously got a lot of media attention. The journalists behind it, um, the Sky Sports article, and making those claims that this coach is hard to work with and there's like a divide or an issue at training uh, you know in, in the group uh, in the group as Rafa would say covering dog hairs it's you I mean he's, he's laying up with me on the set here because I'm not feeling too good so he's looking after me I'll let him um Melissa Reddy it was uh, see I've got to be careful what I say on here because YouTube tells me off for using uh, inappropriate language She's apparently in a relationship with uh, Man there, isn't she? Allegedly, it's, in, it's, in, it's not me that's making that claim. It's out there. Um, Melissa Reddy. No. Um, so she's the one making those claims. You see, I, I, don't, I don't think journalists should be able to do that. You know, like an unnamed source. That, that might not even have happened. I mean, I haven't heard anybody, uh, any of my friends or... I, mean, I hate using the word contacts and things like that, but you know, just people you got to know over the years. You do build up a network, right? Like, you know, people. Um, sorry, I'm chucking uh, my coffee around. I don't want to turn the coffee machine on. It's very loud. Um, <clears throat> I haven't heard anyone say anything about that coach in recent weeks. That doesn't mean that it's uh, it's not accurate. I've heard people say things about Pep Linders, and we've discussed that on the members' website for for a while now. Uh, you know, some people think he's getting a bit too big for his boots, and he should. You know, he's, a, he's an assistant manager, you're a coach or whatever, Just that's where you should be in the background. Uh, Jurgen Klopp's the manager. We, we've sort of spoke about that a little bit in the previous video. Um, but I haven't heard anything said about this this uh, this other chap uh, until now. Uh, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big claim. It's an unsettling claim. Uh, you know, you've got a journalist there, which, fair enough, that's their job to... Uh, to tell you things, it's no different to, you know, I could say something to you, but uh, I don't know. I think you've got to have some responsibility. And um, she has no loyalty, I guess, to Liverpool Football Club. To, you know, I don't know, it's just like... A journalist can't name who, who's saying what. But it just makes me think, I just find it all very cowardly if someone has said to her... Uh, then there's a problem with this uh, this coach, and then you've got to start thinking about who could that person be. Uh, I've got my own uh, suspicions and who I think it would be saying that, which I think I've made a bit clear in my last video. Um, but I just think that it's very cowardly, isn't it? And if you're Jurgen Klopp now today, all them up like it's. it's one thing being one journalist saying it somewhere, but it's from what I understand, it's all over the place now. Uh, I think the Daily Mirror did something about it. Uh, I'm sure others have as well. Um, you know, that there's this problem with this coach. And can you imagine if that's not true, what that must feel like for him? 
And not only that, imagine working in that environment and you're thinking, you know, you're going to work and you're looking around at it and you're going, who was it then? And it might not even be anybody. It might not be true. She might have, she might have been given the wrong information. Uh, we, it would create paranoia, right? It affects the working environment. What are the players talking about today? They're going to be going, did you see that? But, you know, you know, who is it said? You know, the one that man is, you know. Uh, my channel's going to be really boring on you with these, uh, these new self-certification uh, ratings when it comes to certain... I can't operate my YouTube channel like this, guys. I can't. I need to... I don't know. Can you imagine what the players are saying today? The players were going, do you see that in paper and that? It's about, oh, is it? It's not good, is it? Jurgen Klopp, what's Jurgen Klopp thinking? He's looking there. Now when you're going, right, who can't I trust in here? Who's got a problem with him? Maybe Jurgen Klopp knows. Maybe Jurgen Klopp knows there's an issue. But he's still going to be looking at people going, right, which one of you was it? Who can't I trust? Now, for what it's worth, right, going into opinion, well, I guess it's all opinion, really. Uh, no, it's not. We're talking about facts, aren't we? What someone's claiming doesn't mean it's true. Uh, but for what it's worth, for my opinion, uh, I reckon it is true. I reckon someone has said something to her. Doesn't mean that what this person has said is true, but I reckon someone has given her that. Um... And I would, I, I, I think I, I would assume who that could be. The reasons for that, which isn't very fair, because uh, I don't know. But I just, I just find it very strange that we're seeing uh, a lot of reference to certain people at the club that normally, in a normal uh, environment, you, you don't really hear from them. At the, the, the end of the day, guys, you know, we've got um, a situation at Anfield or the club in general, where a lot of people are not happy. Heads are down, aren't they, from top to bottom? And um, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's worrying. And it's not helpful. Do you know what, guys? Someone has got to take control of it at the, at the coaching level. That's your manager, surely. Someone's got to take, you know, get everyone in and go, right... It's, it's it's like it's like a ship that's just not got anyone steering it. Like there's no one at the wheel at all. You know, like like we're just there's an iceberg there. You know what I'm saying, guys? Nobody at the club can you know uh, force FSG to do anything. Uh, you know the senior management, but some the, it's like the club has nobody running it. It's like there's no, it's like there's no responsibility. Now I was thinking about this the other day. All right. Most people wouldn't be able to name the chief executive of Liverpool Football Club, I think. Whereas over the years, you know, you'd always say, well, uh, you know, it's Rick Parry, you know, or, you know, something like that. Perslow, he was, although Perslow was a uh, managing director, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you have all these different tags these days at Liverpool. People go, uh, well, who's in Liverpool? Uh, there's that Hulk Hogan guy, uh, there's him, uh, Flash Gordon. You know, it's like, who's, who's, where's the leadership? You know, who's, who's, who's ruthless behind the scenes now saying, what's this all about? You know, Jurgen Klopp should be pulling his hair out and going mental. I really want to see what, you know, the next time I get a chance to uh, see uh, Jurgen on the uh, on the box here, I'm going to be looking at him, you know, and seeing how he comes across. Can you hear them Spanish kids? Don't worry, they're not in my basement or anything. Uh, see, I was going to say a little, you know, but you can't, you can't swear. Well, you can swear... But um, it's probably best I don't at the moment. I'll tell you what, in this microwave behind me here, right? Don't start moaning, you know, about how long the videos are. Now, these videos are for my friends. I've got this, right? Mmm. Mm. It's mince. Uh, it's like a lasagna. Mmm. It's making me feel better already. Mmm. I'm going to make my coffee now. Well, I don't think you guys are going to appreciate the noise. Get ready.
Who's running the club? It's like there's no one in charge. It's like they've all jumped ship, isn't it? Do you not think that? Do you not think that? A beautiful club. The best bird in the world. The only bird in the world that is unconditionally, you know, my love, if you like. Women come and go, don't they? That's one bird that doesn't. And now they're offering her around like a whore, aren't they? So all these, like, I probably get told off for that word. You know, like, do you want a bit of her? Do you want the passing her around, aren't they? The, you know, to like little investors, do you want a little bit of a, a little bit disgusting, really? Someone will give. You know, I think February, a lot of supporters are hoping that there will be, uh, you know, concrete news this month. That's what people are hoping. They're hoping they're going to get uh, some form of, you know, uh, credible development this month on the investment front. Well, that's what everyone is hoping for. I know we were all open for it last month, but everyone's keeps going February, it'll be February, you know. Um, who's running the club? Tim, it's not right. And that's, as Jurgen Klopp, do you think, taking his eyes off things a little bit? You know, we keep seeing all this, like, you know, we've seen these glowing positive suggestions that Pep Linders is the man at Liverpool and he's more or less taking training, like, completely and he's influencing transfers and he's writing books. What's... Is, is, is Jurgen, like... I don't know, I was going to say, is, is, is Jürgen lost a bit of passion or something like that? And he's going, oh, yeah, you do it. You know, like that. You know, like we can all go through them phases in life, can't you? Is that, you know, is Jürgen going through that? Has he gone through that? Going, well, you, Pep, you do it. Oh, yeah. But he looks all right to me, the boss. Although in saying that, there has been times over the last few weeks, months or whatever, that he's looked a bit, well, at times I thought he's looked, I don't want to say it, looks a bit gone, you know, like a bit. I'm not being mean. I mean, I've looked at him and thought, well, he don't look well. I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to suggest there's anything wrong with him health-wise. He's probably stress, is what I mean. And you see that in the manager sometimes. Don't you? And we've seen it when he's acknowledged the fans on the pitch, you know. Oh, he's not the sort of person that would give up. But I just wonder, you know, is that, I'm only like playing devil's advocate. I'm only like just putting that out there. You know. Has he taken his eye off things a little bit? And that's why the suggestions of, you know, people not get working well with the coaches and all these people that are leaving. And yeah, I would really like some journalists. This is where these journalists are useless. And now they're all part of that clique, you know. No one will step up today and go, right, Jürgen, what's crack? What, why are we reading about this guy? What's going on? Is he all right? What? Well, yes, of course. Well, why, why are we seeing that then? What's going on? And why does this bin no <coughs> why does this woman, this female journalist that man is tapping <laughs> tapping's all right, isn't it? Um Why did, why is she spouting on why no, why is she running her mouth? Why is she saying things? That is not helpful. It's not helpful. She knows that as well. Think about that, guys. If it's true, well, we might get to know about this after the game. We might, you know, because people will be chatting today. If there's any truth to it, <clears throat> and someone has, you know, someone is like stabbing that gadget in the back. I mean, he might be the biggest. Problem going. I wasn't going to say a word beginning with A. Maybe he's like that. But whoever's sticking the knife into him, if it's true, cowardly that. I think it's cowardly. Why are you going to press and putting that out there? Think about that, guys. I said that in my previous video. You've always got to ask why. What's the 
What's the benefit of that? Someone wants him gone, right? Why? Totally speculative. And I'm sure me eating this mince is annoying someone and I'm really glad if that's the case. <coughs> I am so unwell. At least I can feel my throat. <coughs> um, well, I've felt my throat all day, but what I mean is at least it's soothing a little bit. I mean, it doesn't matter. Totally speculative. Someone wants him gone. All right. So what if it was another coach at Anfield didn't don't want his job, but doesn't like the fact that he's really close to the Jurgen, and Jurgen might be paying a bit more attention to him, and someone might be getting jealous and getting their nose put up a bit. Maybe it could hamper their future ambitions. Mm. It's cowardly anyway. Right. I'm going back to my sofa. Rugby's on today. I'm going to watch some rugby today. <coughs> um, I have no interest in rugby. But because of the band, that Delilah song, I want to put the rugby on and watch all the fans sing it because they're going to sing it so loud, are they? These, this woke mob, I can't stand them. As for Melissa Reddy, <laughs> don't even know I'm laughing. My mum said, I talk with a mouthful. Yeah, well, you're not here anymore, so I'll do what I want. No, I'm only joking. As for Melissa Redding, oh, well, I don't know. I say what I think about the male journalists, why can't I say about the female journalists? Equality, right? Equality. I'm finding it very hard to express myself without using words that would be deemed inappropriate. But I don't know how to say them in a polite way. Like... I was going to say... Hey, this is my lunch, by the way. I'm having it with you, all right? I was going to say, Melissa Reddy, I think she's up her own. But I don't know, how do you say that in a polite way? What's, what's the real version of that? If you were in a business or group meeting and you wanted to describe someone as being up their own, how would you say it? What's the proper way of saying that in life? Because those commoners talk like that, isn't it? Oh, you know, such and such. Yeah, he's right up his own. You know what I mean? We say that, don't we? What the posh people say, they'll probably say it even worse to be honest. Oh, what was that? There is a word for it. And it begins with P, I think. Pretentious? When I mention journalists, please don't ever think it's personal, like I've got anything against, well I've got something against them actually. What I mean is, she might be a really nice girl. And I'm sure it's, she's done well for herself because being a female coming into football, factually, um, must be difficult, especially in that male dominated industry, which has changed a bit since the uh, dinosaurs. 
Keys and Gray went out to the Middle East. But they're still out there, you know, you still see them uh, doing the football coverage. I don't know if you've got access to that stuff. They are terrible. I don't believe in cancel culture and all that, but that Richard Keys has got to be one of the most bitter men in sport I've ever known. He's, ha he's awful. I see his stuff on Twitter all the time. He's always digging at someone. He hates Rafa, doesn't he? He's always running his mouth, Richard Keyes, about <clears throat> just like pulling up people, Prince being like trying to criticise managers and things like that, but not in a sporting sense, like you know, like we would say, oh that that manager he's let himself down or this. <clears throat> he goes into the character a bit. And the irony is, I don't know if you know this, but Richard Keyes, allegedly, it's not allegedly, it's all out there, but I'm saying allegedly anyway. Um <clears throat> when his wife had cancer. He got rum allegedly got rumbled for <laughs> for um, his daughter's friend. <clears throat> that tells you what sort of person he is. I don't like Richard Keys. But since the dinosaurs have gone, the, you know, there is still a lot of male. Uh, dominance in, in the football industry, reporters and that, and I'm sure that they're, you know, always like, we like banter, there's nothing wrong with banter, but I reckon she, you know, it's been difficult for her, I reckon, fair play to the girl, without a doubt. I'm sure you see the comments in, <clears throat> you know, to her on Twitter, I don't follow her, but I'm sure there's people in there going, what do you know, woman? <laughs> fair point. But that doesn't mean that <clears throat> I can't have an opinion about her, so I, I take my hat off to her for <clears throat> the progress she's made in her career, she's been a career for herself by the sounds of things. Um, but I think she's pretentious. I think, I'm sure that's the word, isn't it? Pretentious. I don't like her. That bit of her. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> anyway, whether, you know, if someone has had a word in her ear, they're a coward. And it's not helped because the boss today, he's looking at them news reports, same as me and you, and he's going, uh, it's not helpful. <clears throat> Who's the Anfield Mole? Who is it? 